if you're a man in a few years time you may begin to notice your hairline receding you may proceed to just shave it all off because of social reasons or you may wear your baldness with pride either ways there is a high chance that you will be wondering why you are bald and your friend isn't this is the science behind baldness specifically male pattern baldness hi friends welcome back to my channel my name is Edie. i make videos about a life as a graduate student faith and everything in between including science in today's video i am going to be sharing why people get bald specifically males what scientific evidence there is about baldness and how it can be dealt with as human beings we are born with sex hormones there are specific sex hormones called androgens which every human being has whether male or female however men have a lot more androgens a common type of androgen is testosterone which we all know is responsible for the deepening of voice is responsible for production of sperm building of muscle and other male specific characteristics this testosterone also has some function in hair growth it is known to bind to specific receptors at hair follicles hair follicles are the pores where your hair grows out from however there is an enzyme in the hair follicle which we would call 5a arrow the full meaning will be right on the screen 5a arrow is an enzyme that converts testosterone into dht which is dihydroxyl testosterone which is also an androgen the only interesting part is that dht binds to the same place the same receptor testosterone would bind however dht is five times more potent than testosterone so dht replaces testosterone on the hair follicle when dht does that it reduces the size of the hair follicle and this causes thinning of the hairline and basically hair loss eventually male pattern baldness has been found to be caused by dht the more dht a man is the more likely they will get bald also the more 5 ar which is the enzyme that is important for this conversion the more 5 ar a man has the more likely that they would have more dht and consequently have increased baldness now what role does genetics play in this research shows that there are people who are genetically programmed to have hair follicles that are more susceptible to the effect of dht what does that mean it means that there are people who just by genetics have hair follicles that would react a lot more stronger and even quicker to the effect of dht than others so their hair follicles may get smaller faster just because of genetic programming there's also research that shows that genetically some people are more programmed to have this enzyme 5a arrow which does the conversion from testosterone to dht now interestingly when research was done with over 50,000 european men it was found that the gene that was highly associated with male pattern baldness is the gene ar which is found on the x chromosome now you may be wondering what this is in a man there are two chromosomes the x and the y chromosome the x is inherited from the mom while the y is inherited from the dad if one of the genes associated with male pattern baldness is found on the x chromosome what that means is that the man inherited the gene from the mom so that may mean that if your mom's side has more people who are bald you may stand a higher chance of getting bald compared to if your dad's side has more people who are bald now are there cures for male pattern baldness if you've been following the story up until now we have two key players the 5a arrow which is the enzyme that does the conversion and the dht which is the androgen that causes the reduction of hair follicles now if there is a way to inhibit either of these two then we can have a cure 
for this disease. However, the truth is DHD and 5 are have multiple other roles in the human body. So there has to be care in finding an inhibitor for either of them. There is a drug sold in the market that inhibits the action of 5 ARO and people take it and see effects between three to six months upon taking it. There are also drugs that reduce DHT. There is even a shampoo that is called a DHT blocking shampoo that people use to wash their hair to prevent the effects of DHT on hair follicles. Of course, you want to make sure you get approval from your doctor or dermatologist before you take any of these drugs. My own goal is to educate you and I hope I have been able to do that today. This is the science behind male pattern baldness. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.